Africa urgently needs to be fully represented in bodies where decisions concerning our future are made. Have you ever wondered why economic disparities continue to widen, even as the world strives towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals? It's a question that President Paul Kagame of Rwanda has been pondering, and today, we're diving into his powerful insights on this issue at the UN General Assembly. The primary cause of this crisis is high interest rates in developed economies in order to correct for years of quantitative easing. At the same time, developing countries face exaggerated risk premiums for both currency and political risk, which are simply unjustified. We need serious cooperation to address this. To address this crisis effectively, President Kagame calls for reform in global financial institutions. He welcomes initiatives like the Bridgetown Initiative and the Paris Summit for a new global financing pact, acknowledging that a more equitable financial landscape is crucial for collective progress. Increasing access to finance also requires reform of our global financial institutions. In this regard, we welcome the proposals of the Bridgetown Initiative, as well as the Paris Summit for a new global financing pact. President Kagame commends the Secretary General's report, A New Agenda for Peace. He emphasizes that while bilateral interventions can offer rapid responses to crises, lasting effects require multilateral engagement and internal political progress. Action should serve the interests of people on the ground, not just bureaucratic formalities. This year's SDG Summit has once again raised the alarm about slow pace of SDG implementation and I commend the Secretary General for the sharp focus he is bringing to this issue. President Kagame doesn't merely point fingers at the global economic system. He recognizes that developing countries, too, bear responsibility for their financial governance and natural resource management. It's a shared challenge that demands serious cooperation. In developing countries, we also have a responsibility to be accountable for the quality of our financial governance and the management of our natural resources. President Kagame stresses the need for collaboration in tackling climate change. He highlights the recent Africa Climate Summit as an example of how nations, especially those in the Commonwealth, are eager to be part of the solution. But it's not just about cooling down on climate, it's also about cooling down on conflict. He draws attention to the migration crisis, where people undertake perilous journeys in search of a better future. Rwanda, he declares, is committed to working with the UNHCR to find lasting solutions. Rwanda also supports the second replenishment of the Green Climate Fund to create the fiscal space for vulnerable nations to tackle climate change. Africa and small island developing states, many of which are represented in the Commonwealth, want to work with partners and be part of the solution. That is an important outcome of the recent African Climate Summit held in Nairobi under the leadership of President William Ruto. However, we must not only cool down on climate, we must also cool down on conflict. Africa urgently needs full representation and decision-making bodies concerning its future. The continent must also speak with one voice. President Kagame underscores the importance of building fair and equal partnerships for a just and peaceful world. What did you find inspiring in this speech? Share your comments and continue watching this channel for more inspiring videos.